Grand Rising, everybody. Another day on my um, walk and talk journey here. So it's approximately sometime. Is it 740 out here? 740 a.m. out here I am. It's looking like it's about to rain. I hope not. <laughs> I ain't got no umbrella. Just doing my five mile today. So I wanted to talk about Candace Owens. I was watching another video. I believe her, uh, I always get her name, uh, her channel wrong because she changed it. And my mind doesn't easily adjust to changes like that that quick. So um, I think it's Matrix Exposed. And um, she was, she had a video talking about Candace Owens and how now she's uh, trying to cater to black women to keep her podcast alive and going. So not too long ago, she was uh, fired from, I think it was, was it the Daily View or something like that? Because she supposedly made anti-Semitic remarks. Now, from my understanding, she simply spoke in um, favor or out of fairness, not in favor, out of fairness, against what Israel was doing to the Palestinians, okay? She didn't really say anything that you could really uh, call anti-Semitic. Um, she didn't promote any negativity against so-called Jewish people, nothing. She just said, you know, what they were doing over there weren't fair. So they terminated, the wire terminated their relationship with her so let me give you just a little background of what i know about candace owens um i it's not like i was always um uh, uh, listening to her podcast but every once in a while she would come up because she was um how she got famous in the first place is what she she was always denigrating black american people um talking about the worst um of the uh, 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 things that that happened among us that that we supposedly did, same thing. Everybody else has a, a reputation reputation for having done. As far as certain elements of their people, it's almost like she took the uh, criminal class and the rappers, and you know what I'm saying that they're uh, uh, what they you know the violence and over sexuality in their music and generalized us as if that's just how we were culturally as a people so she always had uh, her her foot on our neck when she was at the wire this Jewish owned media outlet okay so that's how she got popular and famous and um, quasi uh, respected among the left meaning uh, white people uh, liberals and racists alike okay so the reason why I said quasi or pseudo, should I say, uh, respect, I should say pseudo because they didn't respect that girl. They just liked what she was saying. Give a hell about uh, Candace Owens. Didn't give a crap about her. I remember hearing one po podcast where she was talking about how we are crying, always crying racism and racism hasn't existed since a uh, uh, civil rights movement or something she was saying. And, you know, irregardless of the fact that she used our lawyers and our organizations to sue this college for what? Racism and discrimination. I guess that she uh, kind of forgot that we, um, that that happened. I thought that we wouldn't find that, that fact out. I don't know what is going on with that crazy, crazy woman, okay? So you're very hypocritical. You're a liar. You're a bootlicker uh, for, for white supremacy. And that was the only reason why you were made popular and they listened to you in the first place. So I'm not sure, but I keep hearing that Candace Owens came, uh, comes from a foreign family or she's half American or half Caribbean or something. So she tends to have uh, the same uh, foreign um, perspective, black foreigner perspective when 
it comes out of us, which for the most part, especially Caribbean, is born out of jealousy. And that's just a fact. Particularly Caribbean, baby, I've, it's jealousy. So now she's defunct. Um, she got fired um, from the wire. She's no longer popular there. Ain't none of the white people um, that loved her, what she was saying, and probably gave her most of her popularity. Uh, ain't none of them coming to rescue her. I don't think anybody came to give her fucking ass uh, a job or anything. She's just out, just ass out. So now I'm hearing that she's been kind of courting to black women to try to save her career. All right. But my thing is, I'll get back that to that later. Okay. I made a video about the black mammy, and, and people know, they know how black American women are, the American, the indigenous black uh, American. They think they know how we are, particularly the women. All right. So she's uh um, I lost my last point, <laughs> but whatever. She she's kind of acting a little, from what I'm hearing, desperate. Like I said, I don't I don't keep it with her too much. I never liked her. Um, I knew why she was up there and allowed to do what uh, she was allowed to do. So, um, <sighs> I hope that enough of our sisters get to this video whereas they will um, turn their noses up at Candace and let her drown. All right, let her drown, let these people drown, okay? We've already, I'm already hearing so many black women say, you know what, I'm no longer concerned about other people. I'm only concerned about the black women and our, and our young children, our children. And that's good, it's about time we get to this place and stop being mammies uh, for the world. So it's a known fact that if you want to get popular in any genre uh, and, and get notoriety and become a publicly known figure, you're going to have to shit on black American people. You're going to have to generalize our vices, same vices every other race in the world has, uh, and, and make it seem like that's just how we are culturally. You gotta talk down, you gotta talk mess. And then you're most likely to get somewhere and decide to get heard, get popular. Y'all don't see this happening? Look at Fresh and Fit. I did not even know who the hell they were until they started making remarks about black women then they blew up everybody knew who they were kevin samuels when he was because i because when he started out he was talking to black men but when he started talking about black women talking crap about us now that's when he got extremely popular his videos we're getting over a million views talking crap about us. That's I can I can name so many uh, more people who 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 gained their populate their popularity by mentioning us, and that was the only way that they could do it. Now, on a wider scale, you have to talk about all of us, but the main person that you have to shit on are Black American women in order to be popular. You don't think that these foreign black people and all these other folks coming over here don't know that? You don't think that they don't know that? Take for instance, particularly Twitter, these foreigners, particularly Africans, all they have to, de to do to get some traction on their posts and to get sometimes uh, over a hundred thousand views is to say something derogatory about us i keep seeing this phenomena happening over and over again if you're speaking down on a particular race of people 
what is there to expect but them to come to your space and let you know how they feel about it and um we should let you know and show you tell you and show you how we feel about it but what we're not getting is this is how people become popular this is how they start making some big money this is how some of them even get rich just by mentioning us so we're, we're feeding these people putting money in their, their pockets sending their children to college helping them build up their uh, spot in their homeland hopefully most of them go back but this is what we're doing we don't realize it so we got to get to the point where um you you slander us and we don't we don't make no comments but we we get in our own groups and uh we uh we make a a, a copy somehow uh our print our our, our our print your page out and share it privately so we can all and share it among each other so we can all know what was said um and then act accordingly without making these people rich okay so i know what we've been doing online me and my little group and we're not even doing it as a unit we're doing as as individuals anytime these people come to places like twitter and slander us we get their accounts closed we get their t twitter accounts permanently closed we find out we get their names because they're too stupid. They were at first too stupid to not know that we can we can find out where they work and where they're employed by them using by looking at looking up their Twitter names. We've been reporting people. I'm pretty sure people have gotten in trouble at work because for the most part they don't they don't come at us quite like they used to. Only the ones probably who ain't got nothing to lose. They pop. They probably don't even live in America. But like I said, once we catch up to them, they're losing their accounts. So that's what we need to do. We need to stop giving these people bread and butter off our backs. And um, uh, black women, once again, I don't know exactly how you became a worldwide mammy suckling. Uh, your enemies and their children and feeding them while, while you're starving and die. I, I don't know how that happened to us. Maybe it happened as a fact uh, from the fact that we've had a lot of tri tribulations as a, uh, as a group of women. So we've, um, we've grown to a place of extreme empathy for people that we feel are, you know, have been done the way are being done the way same way are hurting or they you know they just need that leg up and that um support and encouragement we're starting to move moving now we're not doing that anymore that's that's gone when we, once we get this down pat you're gonna see a totally whole totally different paradigm let me go back to uh how people use our image in a negative way to get popularized, well known, and to start making money. That's how they get their jump start. They gotta mention us. Now, it this might make somebody, this fact might make somebody or some people mad. But the, the thing is, there is power in that. There's an immense amount of power that we need to recognize that we have and we need to learn how to use that to our advantage and the disadvantage of our our enemies and people who who speak ill of us because all we get is slammed unprovoked we're in our spaces talking among ourselves about our own issues here comes these particularly these black ass foreigners okay <clears throat> being willing tools a white supremacy, white supremacist talking points, and stuff like that. Why didn't Candace Owens know that once white supremacy uses you, they break you and throw you away? 
They didn't have to throw that woman away like that. All she did was say, she, she, she looked at the situation going on in the so-called Middle East and said, you know what? I call foul on Israel and Yatin knew you, whatever, whatever the hell his name is. I call foul on them for what they're doing, you know. That's all she said. She didn't say we should do that to the Jews. I hate Jews or we should she didn't say that. She called it called it like she she saw it. And um now she's so defunct to where it is in order to maintain her popularity, she's trying to court to black women and um, our issues and um, what's going on with us and whatever. Why not court to black men? Why not, Candace? Why come to us? Because you understand that mammy spirit that lives within us. You, you know that real well. And only a fool would help you keep your place and help you be able to feed your family after how you you, you had your gladly put your foot uh, on our people's necks. But the, uh, back to this power that we have. So we've been relegated to a certain position in society. You can see it all over our neighborhoods where most of the businesses are owned by foreigners. That's not an accident. That's not because we gave up on our damn businesses. That's not because we're too stupid to open them. You, that, that's, sweetheart, that's by design. But even in that, 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 the place that we are in, in this particular situation, we have the power. So let's start using this power to knock our enemies down one by one. What's that power for number one? Uh, it's the dollar. All these people that are benefiting from our dollars that we make through working for people because they got us in a uh, in the um, brainwashed to be consumers and spenders. Okay, uh, consumers and um, spend uh, consumers and workers instead of owners and producers okay so let's use this uh to bankrupt our enemies snatch our monies from them when they slightly disrespect us put them out of business and don't care what happened to them we have the power we have the power online if they're using our image to get popular we use our silence to bring them down we don't give them what it is that they're looking for by um, talking shit about us. Even in this meager malign position that we find ourselves today, we have immense power. Not only that, not only that in those particular, um, there's so much more. There's so much more we can do with the position that we're in and what we have. They put us in a position to break people. And that's good. That's good. And it's time that we use. It's time to be, think shrewdly. Be shrewd. Okay? In our thinking. And use stealth to deal with our enemies. And again, you old silly ass foreign black folks. You are nothing but a white supremacist tool that will be broken. You will be broken. You will be thrown away. But don't come to us trying to look at our look at our toes and feet to keep your place and continue to feed your your family. No. Starve, hell. Go back to where you came from, whatever. Do something. End it all. We don't care. We coming for you, baby. We're we're hip. We're on alert. We're on defense. And we're coming for you. Peace, y'all.